Hey sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you like fragrance, makeup, skincare, real people, and real talk, definitely subscribe to my channel. So y'all asked, I delivered. I asked y'all what brands did y'all want to see a sale from, and the top ones were Tiziana Terenzi, Nishane, and Zsa So here we are with a sale. Of course, I'm gonna leave the link that you need to click for the sale down in the description box. Because girl, you know when I tell you about a sale, you better jump on it because stuff will sell out. I'm gonna tell y'all what I have, what I like about what I have, and which ones I plan to buy from the sale too. So let's get into Zsa Zsa. That was the most popular one, I would say. That one and Tiziana Terenzi and I have the most from this house versus the other two so let's go ahead and start with them hands down my favorite Zsirzhoff in my collection is La Capitale this is my favorite Zsirzhoff in my collection I'm so mad that it does not come in 100 mils because why why Sway why is you putting all these other ones in 100 mil and not this like this is so good this is my favorite and this is one that I actually plan to buy a backup bottle of because I know this summer, I'm just going to go through it. I know that I am. I feel like this is an all year round scent. You can wear this anytime, anywhere, any place. This is peach, strawberry, caramel, leather. Girl, this is so, so good. I adore this so much. So I plan to get a backup bottle and I don't, I'm not a backup bottle girl. Like I don't get backup bottles because I don't need to. If I want some, I just repurchase it. But if this is going to be on sale, I'm going to buy it because if this was in a hundred mil, I would have bought the hundred mil anyway. And once I started seeing my little den, I was like, Ooh, slow it down slow it down y'all know i don't mind using up a fragrance but this one i was like dang i need another bottle of this so this one with that leather and the strawberry and the caramel and all of the things girl this back up bottle worthy for me so let's start with the popular one and that is lira lira is going to give you your lemon sugar cookie vibe this one is definitely a wearable gourmand i don't feel like it's like super super edible type i feel like it's definitely wearable it still has that edible quality but it still kind of smells like perfume too compared to maybe the next one so this one like i said is your lemon sugar cookie i feel like this is a all year round fragrance i don't feel like you have to designate this for fall or winter just because it is a gourmand i think that lemon gives it a freshness that you can definitely wear in the spring or the summer if you want definitely layer it with like a lemon routine get your whole citrusy life with that sweetness next is italica now this one does smell a little bit more foodie to me but i still feel like it's a wearable gourmand it has milk and toffee in it which kind of gives it like a cake like type of vibe i'm not really sure why but i definitely get a cherry almond vibe from this like i smell cherry almond almond is in it but i get cherry in there for some reason i don't know why y'all remember the jergens cherry almond lotion like it gives you that type of vibe but this one is like creamier and a little milkier and i just really like this it definitely has the bourbon vanilla in it to give it the sweetness the sandalwood and it keeps that creaminess going since the milk is at the top and the sandalwood is at the bottom Matter of fact, you know how you have a um, pound cake and it has like the um, the cooked kind of pineapple on it with the maraschino cherries? Like that's what I smell when I smell this. Mm, and that's, this smells real good. So if you like a nice edible cozy type of gourmand that you can wear all year round, this is another one too. Next is Starlight. Now I do feel like this one is more suitable for the fall and winter, but girl, if the sale is selling, you better go on and get it and just put it away, okay? Now this is a cardamom bomb. When I first got it and I smelled it out of the bottle, I was like, ooh, that cardamom is just a lot, girl. Is it going to wear like that? But ugh, when I wore it, it was so much better. Because when you wear it, you start to get the other notes. So that's when the cinnamon came through, the cloves came through. But it still was very, like, deep and somewhat sweet. So I think that's from the amber. You get a slight nuttiness, I guess, from the almond, but... I really feel like I get the cinnamon and uh, cloves and cardamom mixed together like a nice blend of it to give you the spice. The amber gives it like a syrupy kind of sweetness. It's not too, too sweet, but it does kind of give it a syrupy sweetness. And then you get a slight nuttiness from the almond. This was very nice to wear in the cold weather. I didn't know though when I first got it and I smelled that cardamom it was definitely spicy so you have to love spicy to love this but wearing it was such a better experience so if you like spicy semi-sweet fragrances then try Starlight. Of course we could not leave out the good Judy Dama Bianca. Now as you can see 
she is almost gone so this is one that i plan to purchase during the sale because i've been wanting a big bottle and i've been wanting to find a good sale for it because this is one that i do overspray i overspray everything let's be clear but this one i definitely overspray it's nice light feminine vanilla like it's nice for summer this is definitely a summertime vanilla for sure and it's just nice feminine um it's not super loud it's not super projecting this is definitely something you can wear anytime anywhere any place is definitely appropriate for work church a wedding it could be for the bride it could be all of that i feel like if you like melior from parfums du marley mon the original um chanel chance otandre if you like light feminine scents like that then you'll like this so as you can see i'm almost done with this this is just a small 30 mil so i'm definitely getting the big bottle now this one is for my guys and my girls that like unisex scents leaning slightly masculine that would be Naxos by Zhirzhov. This right here, y'all, is such a unique scent in my collection. If you like tobacco, you like honey, you like lavender, you like bergamot, you like vanilla, cinnamon, you like all of that mixed together. Like all of that is in here. You can smell all of it, but it's blended all so well. Like I said, this is definitely a unisex scent, leaning masculine, but man it smells so good and so unique the women that like to wear unisex scents and you like a more you know powerful type of fragrance because this one projects this one has a beautiful sillage and it's long lasting so this one right here is not for the faint of heart so you have to if you put this on you have to commit to it because girl she's going to be on you but this is powerful this is letting them know that you are the boss like I really enjoy this scent. It's not gonna be for everybody. You Like I said, you definitely have to be a woman that likes unisex scents, somewhat leaning masculine, or you have to be a man. <laughs> so those are the fragrances that I have that I recommend and the ones that I wanna purchase during the sale. So make sure y'all click the link down in the description box. Get on this sale, because y'all know when I, when I drop a sale, it's gonna sell out, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.